it's Sarah from Welcome Bus Ladies and today we're actually gonna focus on something I didn't come up with myself. I saw some sort of inspiration on crypto Twitter and I actually dug into it a little bit more and it actually does make sense. So as the title says we're gonna talk about is Facebook using the Zilliqa network to build its stablecoin? And several crypto enthusiasts have actually pointed out that Facebook might not have time on its side in terms of creating its own blockchain network from scratch to power its stablecoin. Others have also stated that Facebook can do the extraordinary in a matter of days because it has adequate funds to accelerate such an endeavor. And in this video, we will explore the possibility of Facebook not having time to create its own blockchain. And in this case, the social media company has the option of building on the already available platforms such as Ethereum, Zilliqa, EOS, or maybe even Tron. Therefore, let's first explore the speculation that Facebook is building on the Zilliqa network and how it might just work out. So crypto Twitter, as I said, has for the past few hours been floating the theory that Facebook will opt to adapt the highly anticipated blockchain network of Zilliqa rather than building its own. And the facts that have been used to connect the dot in determining that the two teams are probably working on joint projects are as follows. So Facebook and Zilliqa have a common partner in the global marketing and media company being Mindshare. Secondly, Mr. Evan Chen being both an advisor at Zilliqa and a head of blockchain at Facebook. As you can see a little bit more about this gentleman over here, it's quite worth a read. It's quite an interesting person to be fair. So we've also got actually Zilliqa recently being listed on Coinbase, serving as a president of something greater in the blockchain world. And we also got David Marcus excusing himself from the board at Coinbase to basically avoid conflict of interest while working at Facebook. So what sets Zilliqa apart from other networks? So Zilliqa mainnet launch is actually scheduled for the 31st of January 2019 and many enthusiasts and developers on the blockchain have postulated that the entrance of Zilliqa into the ecosystem will change the game completely. And there is quite a few interesting reasons actually. So one of them will be the actual implementation of sharding in mining that has been found to scale as more miners join the Zilliqa network, thus increasing its throughput. And the team has demonstrated 2,828 transactions per second with just six shards. And this opens the possibilities of higher transaction speeds as the network grows. So there is also the new programming language of Cilia that was solely designed to avoid earlier identified vulnerabilities with Ethereum-based smart contracts. The Zilliqa project is research-driven by a team of with experienced academia and proper founding for DApps developers through the Zilliqa ecosystem grant program that is currently worth a total of $5 million. There is also the anticipation of the platform by both crypto investors as well as the developers. So the question many of you might ask is actually why Facebook would choose Zilliqa? So for Facebook to handle cryptocurrency transactions for its close to one and a half billion monthly users on WhatsApp, it needs a blockchain network that is fast and secure. And Zilliqa has proven to provide both these benefits. I'm actually quite keen on Zilliqa, I quite like them. So this makes a lot of sense to me. But what remains to be seen is whether the speculation that Facebook using the Zill network will become a reality in the coming days, weeks, or even months. So guys, let me know what are your thoughts on the speculation that Facebook might be building on the Zilliqa network. Leave a comment, guys. Let me know what you think of it. Before I finish, I wanna give a shout out to Oliver Bell, who's actually uh, the person who's inspired me to actually make this video. So massive shout out to you, to you, Oliver. And also, if you guys enjoy my content, Content and would like to see what I get up to on Twitter and stuff. Follow me on Queen Sarah. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to leave me your opinion as well. And I'll catch you later. Bye bye.